Hey everyone, it's Jonas Ace. We're talking about uh, sending mail through CDO and SMTP servers and this and that. Yes. And um, we're trying to figure out a way to send emails using our SMTP server instead of Mailgun with our API. And this is where I was just breaking it down with Azaeus of like, okay, he was saying when you use Gmail and whatnot, they, because you're using the Gmail server, right? Yes. Will require you to have a T well, the, the SSL or TSL encryption. Okay. Some sort of encryption. And this is where I want to slow down a little bit of where I was getting a little confused. Yeah. Is that is the connection between my computer and Gmail, mm -hmm. right? And then after we connect send the message, them, right? that connect to that, mm -hmm. somebody sends, actually deploys the email. That's from our mail servers is my understanding. Right, mm -hmm. so that'd be in this case Gmail's mail servers. That is what connects out to the other servers when it's sending the and email. then sending the emails. Yeah. So, so basically, uh, my understanding is, while I'm relying the information to the SMTP server, there must be a secure connection. So they will not accept any information that is not encrypted well, in a specific well, this is, way. And this is where I think it's very important when you say they. And this is my in point this case, I'm talking about. Yeah. Gmail, right? So if which, I'm which I could totally understand and say it's all fine and good, but for our purposes, because we're not using Gmail, we're mm -hmm. connecting to our own servers for the automator. Right. Now here's the thing. Yeah. When you say our own servers, now are you referring to the the WordPress site that has a yes, site ground, server? Right. So yes. SiteGround will have that. I would right. assure you it's very highly likely that they would you either can configure it or is automatic in the sense that they will require the SSL connection because for for you sending anything to them they would either require it automatically or you can configure it in a way that yeah it has to be encrypted by default if you haven't uh, selected that option by default I would say they will need the encryption anyways yeah so and that there's is no in, in my experience in this from looking at I've looked at them a, a fair amount, there is no settings that you can turn on and off as far as for your mail servers of what you have. They right. have, hey, if it's this port, use this. Right, and um, that's the point. Yeah, so yeah. depending on the port that you have to send the information to, they might automatically require because there is a port. I think there is port 25, which is the, FF, the FTP server, which is a, it is not encrypted with SSL or TSL, right? But as soon as you try to connect to a port 465, which is one of the ports, right? Um, as soon as you try to connect to the 465, which is the SSL port, I, I remember, if I remember correctly, and this is a standard port, port, port. If you try to connect to that standard port, the information should be sent in a very specific format, which is encrypted. Now, if you connect to the port and you try to send plain text, the server is not going to understand it. And, and, and as they're following the standard, I am fairly certain that you will not be able to send plain text through that port and they will not accept it. Like, well, I definitely understand yeah. what you say. Well, from our conversation earlier, which we didn't record, was certain server, when we're talking about the servers, mm -hmm. servers are configured as a general standard. Where this is Otherwise, it'd be crazy right. complex, right? Yeah, exactly. This port, let's say four six five, is this this you expect this when it's right exactly nine fifty? I forget all the five ninety or so. Something. I do have yep. the information around, so let me just get it. And that's what when we get these, we we're, we've all done this when we go to add like an account to our Gmail yeah. or to Outlook or wherever, it'll say, hey, if you're using this protocol, use this port. Right. So, and so that's and, why and, is the and, servers are expecting. Yeah, that's what and, they're and that's for. the point. So basically, the the main so there there are three very uh, well known ports. Nine nine three is SSL, but for the IMAP server, and nine nine three is a port in which it is the incoming mail. Right. So this is the one that their servers is going to notify you whenever new mail arrives. Okay. So. And well, not notify you, but you can pull it from it. Okay. So that is for incoming mail. Now, the outgoing mail is the SMTP server. And, and let me show you the screen so you can actually kind of like. 
the yeah I, i'm looking at mine uh, right on... so 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 the imap server and the smtp server are separate servers sure yeah well right? and they if you if for those if we ever do share this video aren't familiar with you know the imap leaves the email on the server Yes, right? and you're checking exactly. it, manipulating. It's really cool if you are remotely connecting. And that way, when you download email and delete it, it deletes it everywhere, and you don't have to have things out of sync, right? Right, exactly. But Nowadays, the general... not that many people do that anymore, but it used to be but, pretty popular. But this is the funny thing. Notice that it, requ it requires SSL, right? It is 4993. But if you go to Microsoft, they also have the IMAP server set up on port 993. And I would assure you, it will require SSL as well. Okay, so this is because it is a standard. It is not something that they decided this is the port that I'm going to use or whatever. It is the standard for having an IMAP server. Well, um, hold on. That's for incoming mail. Right. That's for incoming mail. Now, if they have an SMTP server, Gmail has it in two different ports. The 465 expect, expects SSL encryption and the 587 expects TLS encryption, which is kind of like a superset of SSL. They're very similar. The only thing is that this is newer, kind of, if you want to think about it that way. Now, again, both ports requires either SSL or TLS. You cannot communicate through either of those ports without using the encryption that they're expecting. If you go to Hotmail, for example, they also have it set up on those two ports. They're not random ports. It is specifically those two ports. If you connect to that well, number, then it would be but, expecting TLS. All right. Well, let me let me interrupt you here for a minute, um, mm -hmm. because and we've we talked chatted about this a little before with the. I had an example of using CDO to send through Gmail, and someone right. had mentioned, "Hey, they thought it was going to go away here coming up, but some sort of change it might mm -hmm. have happened recently." Yeah. But my point is which we both know and agree, the stuff you just showed to me, that's been around for, for a long yeah, time. Yeah, for a long right? time. That is not new, right. And, and part of our discussion earlier was, can we use CDO for deploying it? And you were saying yeah. you didn't think so because it doesn't have the these... DLS. But, but here's the thing. Um, if I connect to the right port with SSL, then yeah, it should work. Look, now, let me, let, me, let me go ahead and share my screen again. But this time, let me go to... Um, the forum post. So this is uh, this is a post that is from from you know 2019. So it's not that old. This should really work, anyways. But you will notice that he's connecting to a com object, and that's the reason why we are actually kind of like talking about this because yeah. CDO is a com object. Most of your computers will be able to connect to it, and your object now has a few uh, variables that you can set up, like from, to, subject, and body. There you have to set up some options and what he's doing in here is as he's creating an object in which he's going to set a few options and later on he's just going to pass for each key value pair in that object that we just created we're just adding it to the to the schema the item schema so he's doing something very interesting with it but the point is here we go you can set up the server, SMTP, and you can set up the port. Notice that he's using 465. For that, he would have to use SSL. My understanding is that this object cannot accept the TLS version of it, which is the newer version. But what I was thinking is, oh, well, but if I connect to 465 and set the option to true, it should be good to go. Like, I should be able to connect to the server and send the information. Yeah. Well, and, and that's what my point is. I can pretty much guarantee you from what you've said, it does because I've sent using CDO through Gmail. Mm -hmm. right? So and, basically, and that is not an issue. Right, exactly. Yeah. That should not be an issue. The problem is that in, he was trying something with TLS and sure. I didn't know and if the server I, I, I was, yeah, so, and, and that was the thing. So um, I, I, I was thinking that the server that we're going to connect to was using TLS. And I said like, oh, then we, we cannot use it because right. it's not supported. But, but he says there is an undocumented yeah. setting. Now, I don't know if that undocumented setting, of course, you have to switch the port to a different number, right? Yeah. 
but then you would have to be able to set it like this and right but in in this case in particular mm -hmm. i'm looking at our uh mail server for the automator mm -hmm. it has a uh port at 465 right so then in that case i should be able to just use the normal right. ssl values it doesn't negate uh, everything else you were talking about no no it doesn't negate it but right for our yeah. purpose yeah, yeah we could just go next to that port and that's it now um what I'm, in the end i ended up testing and making it work by the way it was this little script that what it does is actually calls powershell now powershell has a as a CMLet, CMD let is how they're called it, called send mail message. So you could definitely just use this. And of course, what I'm doing, and let me set it up for our key version two. There we go. So what I'm doing is just replacing many, many things with variables from up here, right? Now, in one of the variables, I'm having the SMTP4 set to 587 which is the TLS version of Office 365 in this case. And I am using the variable use SSL, which is really confusing because we are saying, hey, use SSL, but we're setting the port for the TLS. But the CMLet knows what to do with that. He says like, oh, I'm connected to a TLS and I'm using encryption. Oh, so I'm going to use the TLS encryption. So it, it is deciding that on its own. So if I run this script, it will send an email just fine. So even though I'm not using the com object itself, I'm actually just using uh, PowerShell for this. But yeah. But in our case, we don't even need to do that. We could use. No, we don't CDO. need that. Right. Yeah. So I think we definitely could use the CDO object and it will be totally fine. Yeah. Cool. All right. Awesome. Thanks.